Okay, hello again. Right, I've sewed all my pieces on now, all my pocket pieces. So I just wanted to show you. This is the front piece. And then right back to piece F. So this is this whole section here. To right to there. From there to there. Um, this was the first bag I ever made and I really like it. I've made lo loads since, I've given loads away, I've sold a few, um, but I've always kept this one for myself. I don't know, it's not very good, there's loads of mistakes, but I think it's just sentimental and I was really proud of it, so there we go. That's my bag, the one I use. Okay, so here you go, all the way back. Um, I'll show you the other side of it now. Okay, this is the other side. These are all the pockets. Like that. And that's what yours should look like now if, if, um, if you're still with me. Um, this really is the hardest part over with and it, nothing... Um, from here on in will be as hard as this part was so um, you're doing well if you've got this far okay so now I'm going to section them up and sew up these pocket bits okay I'm going to start from the front pocket which is the little the little pocket at the front this one um, but first I'm going to have to trim my sides a, li a little bit um, as you can see they, they are a tiny bit out so I want them to be quite straight so um, I'm going to get my ruler and cut in that just going to straighten up the sides both sides but um, if you've got to do this as well be careful you don't want to be tr trim off as little as possible because um, these zip bits here you really want to keep the actual zip away from the folds in the side because it will make it difficult to sew and really bulky so I always try and keep an eye on that and the zip side as well because we're going to be sewing there and um, it looks bulky if, if, these, if the teeth end up in the fold. So just do your best, it doesn't matter, they, it will go in, it'll just be difficult. So I'm going to trim my sides now. Oh, one more thing, trimming the sides. Keep an eye on your pockets at the back. Make sure they're flat. Um, spread them out each side like that. So that they're flat. Okay, um, you really need to have a sharp blade for doing this as well. Um, so if you've been using your blade for a bit, now is a good time to replace it. Oh, I'm going to take off as little as I possibly can and just straighten it up. Once you get one side done, the other side's easier because it's a flat, it's a straight line to measure against. I'm taking off the excess sips as I go as well. The bits coming out the end. Just do it a little at a time because you can always go back and trim a bit more if you need to. Better than taking off too much in one go.
zips can warp your fabric a little bit and then you need to um, straighten it up okay that's one side done so I'm gonna do the other side now Right, I've trimmed both sides now. I have literally just trimmed it. I'll probably have to straighten it up a little bit more again. But I'll wait now until I've sewed the pockets and then I'll check the um, symmetry again before I put the sides on. So what I'm going to do now is start sewing up the pockets. So I'm starting with pocket one, which is the small pocket at the front, this little one, and um, that's why I always use a different fabric at the front, so uh, although it's smaller, when, you, um, when you've been working on it for a while it's easy to make mistakes. So I'm going to line it up flat and I'm just going to give it a shake. Right. I've lined it up as flat as I can and then you see it's under there. The two ends should meet and then you know completely um, symmetrical. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure and mark the sewing line. Let's make sure that's out of the way, the second pocket. Straighten my edges. Okay, right now I'm going to there's not much room here. Um, so the, f the first pocket, the little pocket, you have to mark down two and a half inches from the top. So it's from the top of the, um, the fabric. So not from the zip, from the fabric. The, just above the bit you've top stitched. And that's how it is in the pattern as well. So it's two and a half inches. There. And I'm just going to... So it's difficult with the camera in the way. This is a, an erasable pen. They're really good. They fade on their own, but you can also buy another pen with it that uh, you can uh, erase it as you go. So I've marked out my sewing line. I'm going to put um, a pin here because I. I I don't want my pocket um, ruching up or anything. I'm going to put a pin on the sides. And then I'm just going to check then that my pocket is flat. And it is as well. So I'm going to sew along this line. Um, and then that's the first pocket sewn then. And, um, and then we'll, I'll trim off the excess fabric before I go on to the next pocket. So I'm going to sew that now. Right, I've sewed across it now as you can see um, and this is the underneath and that's the excess on the pocket. I'm going to trim this off now because this next pocket is is tight up here and you don't want this being sewed into this so I'm going to trim this off as close as I can to the edge. I trimmed it off you can see and now this is 
the first pocket sewn in. You see? So now I'm on to the next pocket and the next pocket is going to be the same for all of all of the pockets. So So this is the first big pocket, this one here, so the second pocket. Now this is one of the mistakes I made in my last video. Um, this pocket now, um, in the pattern you measure three and three quarter inches from the top of the fabric. So just above the top stitching, three and three quarter inches. It's going to have a tight line there, but it will fit. Um, just watch your pocket underneath that it's straight. So measure down three and three quarter inches. I'll have to do it off camera because I can't see very well. Um, and then sew along there again like you did everything else out the way just sew in the one pocket and um, so then I'll go and do that as well and um, I sh I'll come back okay um, I've done my first two pockets now as you can see I've sewed the second one in three and three quarter inches from the top um, in the last video, the mistake I made is I said three and a half inches, so this little gap here wouldn't have fitted the pattern and would have been a bit bulky in the sides. I'm really sorry if you followed that, um, but I am putting it right now, so that's the first, first pocket and the second pocket, and this is the underneath. So that's the underneath so I'm going to trim this off now um, I like to do it as I go and then I'm going to do the third pocket and it's exactly the same process for the third pocket and the fourth pocket and you'll have a lot more space to work with now because the gaps are bigger between the pockets so three and three quarters from the top of the fabric and so if you do the next two pockets and um, I'll, I'll come back and and we'll go from there all right now I've sewed all my pockets up um, here we go I accidentally knocked my tension out so I had to go over a few of them again, but they're all sewed on, and um, that's the back. A good way of judging that you've got your measurements right is if what you're cutting off is, is are the same lengths with this. They're all the same length, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to trim them off, and then the next thing I'm going to do then to finish off this section is... I'm going to straighten my edges a little, make sure they're all nice and straight and then I'm going to sew down each pocket side here and not the sections in between, just the actual pockets um, on the sides, each side just very close to the edge um, just to seal them and then it's ready to put the sides on so the next video I'll show you the sides sewed down and nice and straight and then we'll prepare the sides and um, ready to sew them on and and onto the outer fabric okay then so I'll do the next video tomorrow and finish up tomorrow as well so I'll post all the videos tomorrow right to the end of this bag okay bye